Welcome to the Switcher 101 course. As a part of this course, we'll cover a number of topics, from cables to buses and keying to transitions. So what is a production switcher? A production switcher allows for two or more video sources to be switched with a smooth transition. Many production switchers allow for keying, digital video effects, streaming, and more. A production switcher may be called a vision mixer, video mixer, video switcher, broadcast switcher, or production switcher. So where would you use a production switcher? A production switcher is often used in broadcasting and live recording scenarios such as a news broadcast and sporting events. It's also common to use a switcher in gaming setups to stream online and it can also be used for image magnification such as a jumbotron. The area of the switcher where the T-bar and transition buttons are is called the transition area. Some common types of transitions include cuts, which are instant transitions between two video sources, a dissolve, which is a gradual fade between two video sources, and a fade, which is a dissolve that transitions between a solid color, typically black or white, and a video source. A bus is a row or group of buttons on a production switcher. A preview and program bus will allow you to choose which source to preview and which source is live. These may be two separate buttons or one with dual functionality. A macro automates a sequence of recorded switcher actions so that you can easily trigger that sequence during your live production. An example of this could be a show's intro. Some production switchers have buses that allow you to control basic camera settings on compatible cameras such as focus, iris, exposure, and more. The most common video cables used with switchers are HDMI cables and SDI cables. Various HDMI cables can be used including the standard HDMI cable, mini HDMI, and macro HDMI. SDI cables are also used just in more professional settings. For audio transmission, switchers commonly use 3-pin XLR cables and 1 8 inch or quarter inch inputs. Along with transitions and keying, switchers are capable of basic digital video effects. A common one is a wipe. A wipe is a transition in which one image is replaced by another by following an imaginary line until the original shot is completely covered. Another is picture in picture. This is a digital video effect in which the entirety of one source is played over another. A key is an effect in which part of the background image is replaced by an image or superimposed text. The signal determining how the background is cut out is termed the key source, and the signal that replaced the cut out part is termed the key fill. Other keying terms include a DSK or downstream keyer, which is a key in front of the video source, such as a news ticker, and the other is a USK or upstream keyer, which is the key behind the video source, like a green screen. Chroma keying is the compositing of two sources by removing all of a particular color and replacing it with the second source. Luma keying is the compositing of two sources by removing all of a particular brightness of one and replacing it with the second source. And Alpha keying sends a separate signal to the device that defines the transparency of the image and just how it should appear in the key. In conclusion, 
Learning how to properly work a production switcher is something that any video professional should do. Now you should have a good understanding of what production switchers are and what they can do.